So we've got a 2023 X4 BMW door trim removal. Um, very similar to the X3, uh, but a, just a couple of little different changes. These seem to be a little bit tighter, but again, I'll just get a thin plastic tool in here. Always go in from behind, because that's usually the only way with these sort of things. Get it in, in there, and then slide your tool up towards the front, just to rele release that as well. And once you get that in there, just try and get your fingers in top and bottom, pull back towards you. And you might get a couple of those little metal clips um, come off. But once you get the panel off here, you just put them back in. It's no drama. So once you get that released, lift it back, slide it forward. You've got that little notch there. Uh, what is different from the X4 to the X3, last year's X3, um, is the door lock. So up here with the door lock, what I've done is I've just got some pointy nose pliers and I've put some double-sided tape on it just so I can actually see what I'm doing. Some people will put a rag on it. I like to do this, that way I can sort of see what's going on. Um, get your pliers on there and just sort of turn it as you go and it just sort of releases it and that way you don't do any damage to the, to the door lock. But the door lock does need to come off for the door trim to come up. So we'll get that off. So once you've got the door lock off and your handles here, we've got a couple of T20s in here. So we'll zap them out. With this little screw down here, the, the actual sort of housing that this screw gets into um, is just very dodgy. So what I'll try and do is get a couple of little tools in here just to put pressure on there and just pull back just gently, don't go too hard. And that way, the, the housing that the screw seats into won't break. There you go. And just when you're putting the screw back in, just put the screw in very, very slowly. Because if you zap it in and it grabs and twists, the back of the housing will break. And then the screw is just loose and it won't, won't bite into the door trim. So once we've got that out, um, may as well just use these two little tools here. Just release the bottom of the trim. And once you've got the bottom of the trim released, just work your, way, work your hand up just to the top there and then lift up and away. Um, I'm going to use this for window tint purposes, so I'm going to grab a hook. So just be mindful, like in the last video, you've got this door lock rod lift it up and just gently swing it down. Lift the trim up and away. And for window tint purposes, just get this little um, plastic housing here, move it out the way, lift your hand up, put it on the other side of it, and then twist back towards you. And then you can lift up and then slide back and you're away. Once you've done that, just grab your one of these little S hooks, hook it on there. Make sure that the S-hook too has a nice, quite, nice tight curve in it because if it's bent out too far and you hook it in, the, um, the edge of the hook can scratch the glass. So just be mindful of that. Uh, hook your trim on and you're all good to go. I'll just quickly run through the front door as well. Um, same sort of thing with the door lock. Wind that off. It is easier too when you go to refit the, the door trim um, and you hook the nose in first. When you go to hook the back in, it does pay to obviously feed the rod through, but just wind, um, wind the little door lock on a couple of times just to save it from dropping out all the time. Uh, so what we need to do is um, we need to grab the door trim tools and I'll just grab the camera to come in here nice and tight. And just along here, all you need to do is just run your tool in and just slide it down here. And there's four little clips. There's one, two, three, and there's four down the bottom. Once you do that, just release that. And then we'll get the camera to come around the other side. And you'll see just up here, just slide your little tool in the top and just really just want to release that. There's a little plastic, um, uh, locator in there. Once you've released that, just slide it forward 
and just wheel it back towards you. And then you've got obviously the cabling for the speaker in the plastic triangle here. So what we'll do is just grab a very thin screwdriver, pop it in the left hand side here, just sort of give it a wedge and just sort of basically just kind of lever it up and then it frees it up. Then you've obviously got the grab handle that you need to release. So wiggle it up across the top just to make sure that it's free. And then come in from underneath. Release that, and then release the front. See the front's released, pull back, and then slide it out. Take your screws out. And then you can continue to obviously release the rest of the trim. We'll wind out the rest of the door lock. So grab your door hook, grab the trim, lift the back of it up. Be careful of the door rod. Just gently swing it down. It just, you'll, you'll sort of feel it. If you swing it down to the right, it'll probably break. So just swing it down to the left and that way you'll feel no tension on it. Grab your trim like that and then pull away. And then same as the rear door, Move that out the way, lift up your plastic um, door seal there and take it out. But when you're putting it back in, all I usually do is just hook the nose in, like I was saying before, and then lift that pivot on there. Slide up the, ro the rod, feed it through the hole. And then just put that on now and just wind it on a couple of turns and that way it'll seat in there and it won't keep dropping out. And if you have dropped any plugs that you need to reassess and put in the back of the trim, at least now it's loose, you can get in behind it and, um, and fit them. I have found it's a lot easier when you are reassembling it. There's a plug here at the front. Um, I'll locate that plug in behind the door trim at the front, seat that in first and then tap the rest of the trim and same goes for the rear door. Just do that inside plug and you'll see what I mean when you go to reinstall the plug that's basically in here on both sides. Put that plug in first and then the rest of the door trim will line up. So now for the third brake light removal, all we've got to do is just come around to the panel, pop it off, grab a trim tool, pop your trim tool in here just to get a little bit of uh, leverage. Get your hand in there work your way down and then that trim will just pop, pop straight off nice and easy what you've got to look for are these little lugs here um, you're going to want to sort of push on here but it's definitely easier to get a flat blade screwdriver in there just twist and then all you have to do is just come in here and just lever it and then you'll see it'll slide across do the same to the other side and once you get that released Move this little tab over. Um, then just unplug the little um, tab there. Once you've done that, last thing I do, especially if I'm tinting it, is these little uh, antenna mod, uh, yeah, radio antenna modules here. They've got the little plug in there. Just put a little screwdriver in there and just lever the lever the plug out. The plug will come out, and then all you need to do is just get a T27. Pop a T27 in here and just wind that out and remove and basically just sort of just um, place it onto the parcel shelf or wherever is comfortable for you and make sure that it's out of the way that way we don't get any water damage and uh, don't have any problems. Just one more little tip guys when you're shrinking the rear screens on the new X4 this rubber here at the bottom of the screen there is very very delicate um, we found that as you're heat shrinking, it doesn't even really need to get very hot. But if you, if you get any heat into this when you are shrinking it, and your shrinking card sort of, you know, comes down and brushes past it, it will mark it. So what we've been doing is putting some masking tape over that rubber before we shrink it, and you don't have a problem. Catch ya.